everyone, it's Em. Welcome back to Beauty with Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be a lip swatch video on the new Maybelline Color Blur lipstick. So I will be swatching them on my arm and on my lips. And at the end of the video, there will be a quick little review. So let's just get right into it. <laughs> Now review time! Formula of these actually reminds me a lot of the creamy matte lipsticks that I love so much and I know a lot of you would love them too. So if you were liking those, you would love these one too. They last around 5 hours on me and I love the applicator on it. It's like almost flat on both sides so it's super easy and precise to apply. Only thing is you have to keep in mind that you have to twist it on the bottom. I always try to twist it on top. Always. What I love the most about these is the fact that they go on so creamy and so opaque in just one swipe. They are so effortless. You don't have to worry about them like moving around because they dry down to a semi-matte finish. It's not a drying matte. It's kind of a satin finish. It does transfer, but it stays on your lips so well and it tends to stain them. So even if I will have to reapply, for example, after five hours, some of the color it will still be there, except maybe the lightest shades, but most of them are pretty bold. For example, this one will still be on my lips, I just have to reapply just to make it look a little bit more vibrant. And even though it does start feeling a little bit dry, it's not uncomfortable dry. So on one side you have the lipstick, on the other one you have a smudger, which feels pretty much like a silicone consistency, like it is. It feels like quite rubbery. It is used to, if you want to look like a trend in Korea, that you start applying the lipstick in the middle of the lips and then you just smudge it off. So basically, kind of a reverse ombre look, which is really in there. Not so much here, but I think it is quite interesting that they started doing that here. I'll include a picture of what it looks like. It's really popular for some brand, for example, uh, Etude House, and there's Tony Moly. I think it's quite fun to try. Finally, the range of color is really stunning. I feel there's quite a bit of bold shades, but they are so easy to wear just because of the formula being so creamy. It's easy to just start and just dab it on your lips and just spread them with a lip balm or another lipstick just make them a little bit more wearable if you're not used to it but I do recommend trying at least one of them I'm sure you will love the formula if you can only get one of the bold shades I would go with this one the My My Magenta it is the most stunning color ever and it's probably the most unique one of them all but Plum Please is not far behind <laughs> The only thing negative I can think of is the fact that being so long they are harder to organize in my makeup collection but that's about it. <laughs> That's not really a real complaint, right? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done. Let me know in the comments which one of these are you planning to try. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.